now let's go and take a look at the operation and maintenance on the Eco T11 cart back. First thing we want to do is go ahead and unplug the cord from the outlet. Now when you do that, go ahead and inspect the cord to make sure the ground prong is still in place and make sure there's no cuts or abrasions on the cord itself. Next thing you're going to do is go ahead and check the bag condition. You guessed it, if the bag is full, you probably need to replace it. Now if the bag is only half full and you're still getting good vacuum performance, you're probably okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take it to the job site, turn the unit on, and away you go. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and check your bag condition. You guessed if your bag is full, well you probably want to go ahead and replace it. On the other hand, if it's only half full and you still have good vacuum performance, well you're probably okay. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and check your cord. When you check any cord, look to make sure your ground prong is still there, make sure there's no cuts in the cord, etc. If you find your ground prong missing or you do have cuts in the cord, please report that directly to your supervisor so you can get it replaced. Next, go ahead and plug the cord in. Now, when you plug the cord into the outlet, make sure you see the battery indicator lights flashing. That'll tell you that the batteries are actually charging themselves. Go ahead and wipe down the machine when you're done. That way the machine can look as good as it performs.